Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Joe here, your full-time thrifter, part-time reseller. I am back with another video where I'm going to be showcasing the Cabbage Patch Kids that I talked about in my earlier video regarding um, an estate sale that I went to. I went to this estate sale about uh, two weeks ago now, about or a week and a half ago, and um, I actually went to the estate sale because of the Cabbage Patch Kids, but I ended up finding some very cool glasswares and so I um, ended up picking those up and showcasing those in my previous video so if you haven't seen that make sure you go back and you watch that because it is all about uranium glass, carnival glass, milk glass and a lot of fun stuff. Um, but this particular video will be all about cabbies and I found some really cool ones so stay tuned. Um, if you are joining me for the very first time welcome to my channel. My name is Joe. I'm a thrifter and I resell part-time. I do have a full-time job that consumes a lot of my time and requires me to travel a lot so that's why I resell part-time. Um, and you can find my shops in my um, in my description box as well as within my channel page. Um, I have links to my Macari, Poshmark, and I believe eBay. For those of you joining me back, welcome back to my channel. Always a pleasure to have you here. Appreciate all the love and support. Um, but without any further ado, let's jump right into this haul. All right, a little bit of backstory for those of you who are not quite caught up with my last video. Um, Daniel found an estate sale. For those of you guys that don't know, Daniel is my husband. He does have his own channel where he does a lot of decorating, a lot of thrifting. Um, he doesn't quite resell, but he should be reselling. So head on over to his channel and tell him he needs to start reselling some of the stuff he has. Um, but nonetheless, he finds a lot of way down hearth and hand, a lot of just overall home decor. So if you want to check out what he's found, or if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, head on over to his channel. You can find an, you can find him at Golden Finds, and I will have his channel linked in somewhere up here, as well as within my description box. But he found this estate, so he's kind of the one that's on the lookout all the time. Um, and he just lets me know, and then I get in my car and I rush over. But um he told me about this estate, so he said they have a lot of Cabbage Patch Kits. Now, Cabbage Patch Kits do really well in my shops. I have purchased them in the past, and uh, they do really well on my platform. So if I find them at a good price, then it's a no-brainer. They're coming home with me. They're getting cleaned. They're getting photographed. Then off they go to a new home. So um, I went to the estate. So this woman used to own an antique... Uh, or she used to have a booth at an antique mall. And so she had a lot of them. And I was really surprised that most people didn't grab them. Um, and not only did she have the Cabbage Patch Kids, but she also had like clothing. I will say that um, as you will see from the boxes, some of them do have some damage. But luckily the ones that I brought home with me only have damage on the box and not the actual doll itself. Um, or at least none that I've seen yet. Uh, but some of them do did have some discoloration in their face. I didn't bring them home because I wasn't sure how to restore them. Um, so I have one set that I purchased and I'll show you what I mean by like discoloration in their face. But enough of me chit-chatting. Let me show you what I found. So I want to say that most of these cabbies are from the 80s. Um, there might be some from the 90s and um, some where I don't really know the time frame. But our first little... Cabby is this beautiful girl. Look at her. She has blue eyes and blonde hair. She's super cute. Um, so she is from 1984. And her name is... Uh, it looks like it's Jan Ona. Jan Ona. And um, she's one of the ones that has a better um, looking box. Mm -hmm. So this box wasn't super damaged or anything. There is... Like the, the cellophane film is kind of coming off but nothing major um so she's in really good shape as you could tell she was 25 dollars. i did get her for half off so i did uh pay 12.50 for her and um a lot of these still had the original price tag so this one came from kmart and it was uh priced at 29.97 um in 1984 so in its production years and um she is intact and still has her birth certificate so uh major major score here up next we have this stunning little gal uh, she is super cute 
She is, uh, she has green eyes, she's blonde, and she was also from Kmart, and she was originally $26.99. Now, this box here is in impeccable condition. Um, I believe this is from the 90s. Um, I don't, let me see. Yep, it's from the 90s because her clothing says, um, Olympic, let's see, Olympic Kids, and it says 1996 USA, um, and her name is Dorothea Alexia. It looks like she was born on July 15th, and that is my mother's birthday. So um, I thought that was really cool. And she has her little track outfit. Um, like I said, this box is in really, really good shape. She was also $25 at half off. She was only $12.50. I haven't done any, um, any comps, any, research on these just because I know that they do do really well on my shop so I didn't feel like I needed to especially when I'm purchasing them for $12.50 um but I imagine that they are going for a handsome price up next we found or I found this little guy here so CPK Stadium um and this little fella is an Angels baseball player um and he is also in his Pretty, uh, the box is, in, I mean, it's a little bit smashed, but it's overall in pretty good condition compared to some of the other uh, boxes that are um, within my lot. And this guy, I can't figure out how old or what year he's from. Um, his name here is Dorian Bryan. And I don't see, oh, it looks like it's 1986. So from the 80s. Cabbage Patch Kids All-Stars. Now, I feel like I might be able to sell this guy locally because um, we, I live in Anaheim, which is home to the Anaheim Angels. Um, the stadium's literally in our backyard. Um, and this guy is in impeccable condition. So I suspect he's not going to be living with us for very long. Up next, we have Miss Jacobina Georgie, another 80s baby. Super adorable. She's blue-eyed, blonde, and she has a little tooth in the front, which I think is super adorable. Um, and her, the box on this doll is still in really good condition. So, um, killer find $12.50 for her as well. Up next, we have Disa Hannah, and she's another 80s baby. She has a little binky. Now, binky dolls have done really, really well for me in the past. In my last lot, I purchased seven um, dolls in total, and then out of those seven, four had binkies, um, and those were the first ones to fly off the shelf. Now, with Miss Disa Hannah, um, she is one of the dolls that has a more damaged um, box. The box structure is actually really good it's just um this here so i tried to clean it with like lysol wipes um it just wouldn't come off and there is some discoloration so i don't know i really don't know what that's from um it could have been just like where it was being stored um so but she's she's in really good condition she is not dirty or anything like that so that is why i decided to pick her up and bring her home now this little guy, Ian, he is a little football player. It's hard to see his face because he has his helmet on. Oh, there you go. Um, 1985 cabbie baby. Um, and he is in his football outfit. Um, his This box is also a little bit damaged, not as bad as the previous one, but nonetheless, it is damaged. I think the bottom is also all smushed and torn. Um, now he was purchased at Target for $29.97. So found this guy. We also found Mr. Ar Irving Archie. Mr. Irving Archie, you can see some of the cellophane here is smushed in, but um, there's a tear there in the box, which, you know, it happens. I've sold them like that before. Um, just due to age, this guy was purchased at Kmart for $29.97. He is from 1984. There is Mr. Irving. 
Speaking of 1984, we also have Danielle Jocelyn. Uh, now, she looks, she's wearing the same outfit as the earlier doll that I showed uh, by the name of Jan Ona. However, there are some subtle differences between these two. So I feel like her head is a little bit smaller. And then I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but she doesn't have any dimples. She is blue eyed and blonde, just like the other doll. And for comparison, here, I'll show this is Jan, so I do feel like her head is bigger, her eyes are bigger, her hair is fluffier, and then she has dimples on her, um, on her cheeks, which the other doll doesn't have, um, although they're both from 1984. I don't know if you're able to see that, or actually, I guess I could place them side by side. See, like, I feel like Jan's eyes are so much larger than hers. And I, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can get a good perspective on the size of the head, but I feel like um, Jan's head is a little bit bigger and her hair is a little bit fluffier, even though they're both blue eyed and blonde. But I brought her home. And last but not least, I brought home a set of twins. So 1985 Cabbage Patch Twins, and it looks like they are limited edition. Now the box is not in the best condition. As you can tell, it has some of that like darkening into the top. Again, I tried to clean this with Lysol and um, Lysol wipes, and it just didn't work um, out for me. There are some tears. The cellophane is like detached from like the window area. But other than that, the box is still pretty um, in pretty good condition. Um, we have Richard and Brandon, I think is their name. So we have two boys, uh, blue eyed blonde. They have like this knitted uh, outfit on that says, it has like cabbage patch embroidered. Um, now, I don't know if you just noticed, but Brandon is the one that's lower, like he's sitting lower. And I don't know, oh, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but there are like some blemishes on his face. I did try to clean it with like alcohol wipes, but I couldn't get them off. And there were several, like there were several Cabbage Patch kids that had that sort of like blemishing in the face. So I didn't pick them up, but I think I left like a dozen or maybe even 15 uh, boxes behind just for that reason, because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to clean them up. I... I haven't tried like magic eraser. I know a friend of mine who resells cabbies. She does like the magic eraser. Um, but if anyone knows how I can restore like his face, it's not super noticeable, but it's definitely there. Uh, but if everyone, anyone knows how to, uh, restore it, please let me know down below. Um, I'd love to try it out and learn. Now the twins were uh, 40 bucks. Of course, they got them for half off, so I only paid 20 for them. Aside from the doll, she also had a lot of clothing. Um, so I did pick up this set here of Cabbage Patch Kids clothes. Uh, these are priced at eight bucks. Um, I got them for half off, so four bucks. But as you can tell, the box is damaged. Um, there's like some tear here. And, uh, but the clothes are intact, I think. I don't see any staining. Um, it comes with shoes and and socks and I know clothing can be a very uh lucrative uh niche for Cabbage Patch uh dolls I like I mentioned I have a friend who does resell Cabbage Patch kits and she does really well with just selling clothes so um I decided to pick that up I haven't looked it up or anything like that but that brings me to the end of my haul for today uh, this is the lot of uh Cabbage Patch kits that I picked up at this estate sale and I'm quite pleased with it because I think I have some pretty killer finds here. Uh, again, if anyone knows how I can remove some of the blemishes off one of the twins, um, feel free to share that with me down below in the comments. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button so that you know that so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And also, um, don't forget to leave a comment down below. It really helps uh, with the algorithm. Uh, let's see, this video is going up on a Tuesday because today's Monday. Um, so let me know how your weekend went. 
I ended up working. I worked at my other job, um, very long days. So um, I was working from 7.30 a.m. till about 10 p.m. So I didn't do anything fun. I'm sure your weekend was much more exciting than mine. Uh, so feel free to share it down below. Um, I will check out for now, but I will see you all very soon on my next video. Bye.